Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If this is the day the Lord has made, we will rejoice and be glad in this amazing day. If this prophetic word says your sister, and this is payback time. Hallelujah. This is about your sister, and this is payback time. Please, if you see me for your very first time, my name is Ethel Betangba, and this is prayer and the prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God told me to warn you about your sister, and this is payback time. You know, um, for those of us who always attend our live prayer sessions, by the special grace of God, it's always amazing. There are seasons whereby we flow in the prophetic, and there are seasons whereby I just come pray with the people of God, and then however God is doing it, however God is leading us to do, and whatever the Lord is saying, um, we just go according to that direction. One thing I've learned is I have learned to do what pleases God and not what pleases the people. Now, why do I say this? There are moments I can come and we prophesy like all throughout the sessions and throughout that particular season. And there are moments I come and we just pray and then we leave. There are times the prayer session is long. There are times the prayer session is short. So as the spirit leads and that's it. Because I am on the authority and we all are on the authority. And we are answerable to who has made us alive and who has made us and made it, made it possible for us to be in one accord. So in one of those prophetic sessions, I remember I gave a prophecy. I said there is somebody that another, like I was given a prophecy, like to a whole um, people who were watching at that point in time, hundreds of people watching and praying. And if you're, you've been attending our live sessions, you're going to understand what I'm saying. So I gave a prophecy and I said, now I want to say this before I go ahead to tell you about the prophetic word because this has to also do with the prophetic word okay so i gave a prophecy and i said there is somebody you had this person that you took as your sister like you saw this person as your sister took the person in as your sister now a sister is not limited to blood relative is not limited to blood brother mother father is not limited to blood there are people I've taken as a part of my life and part of my family. They have been amazing to me more than even my own blood. So that is one thing you must understand. So I was given this prophecy and I said, there is somebody you hear. You took this amazing person as a sister, like you trusted this person. You confided in the person. And then you told the person a lot of things about your relationship. And then in that prophecy, I said, the Lord says, but this person is now with your partner. And the person is with your partner because the person um, said things against you and about you. So, but I said that my focus is not the fact that the person is dating your partner or with your partner. My focus is the person said negative things about you, like implicated you just so they could buy love. That was my, not my concern. I am one person with a kind of different mentality. I don't care if my sister um, marries my ex or I don't care if my my brother marries. No, I'm a lady. I'm trying to take an example. Like, I don't care. You understand? And you shouldn't. There are things that are not necessary when it comes to the place of destiny. But my concern is don't spoil my name to have your way. You get it? Don't spoil my name to have your way. So that is my concern. You know, another person, um, this is my own experience. I took somebody as a sister, like, like everything. I'm just saying this. And then I remember this, gosh, I know someday is going to be okay. I took somebody as a sister and this lady betrayed me to, to an extent that 
I'm I'm still recovering. That's why I laughed and I said, I know someday I'm going to be able to recover from this. She stole a huge sum of money from me. Somebody I took as a sister, you know, and this prophecy is tied to what I'm saying right now. You have somebody in your life right now. You took this person as a sister. You could vow for this person. You could vouch for the person. You could defend the person. You could fight for this person. But you did not know that this person was killing you. You did not know that the person was backstabbing you. You did not know. You, you could do anything for this person knowing that this person would never do anything to hurt you. But all the times you felt like this person would never do anything to hurt you, the person was killing you behind. It's been so painful because it's the person. Pain, when it comes to betrayers, disappointment, most of the times it's not because of the pain and the disappointment. It's always the person. It's always the person, the person who did this to you, the person who, who masterminded it. So that is where the pain always comes from. The pain always comes from who did it, who masterminded it. That is where the pain always comes from. And the Lord says, I should tell you, it's payback time. They're going to call you. You receive a call that is attached and connected to them. They will call you to beg for your forgiveness. It's payback time. Their life has been so down. Their lives have not been moving. You're about to receive a call that is attached to these people. You'll see it. You will know that God is working in your life. The Lord is upholding you and the Lord is increasing you this season. God is increasing you this season in the name of of Jesus. Amen. Somebody type it on the comment section. Connect yourself. Make that confession. Say, God is increasing me this season in the name of Jesus. Say, my disappointments are turning into blessings. Say it again. Somebody say, my disappointments are turning into blessings. For the last time, say, my disappointments are turning into blessings in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Your disappointments are turning into blessings, huge blessings in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Please do not forget to share this amazing video. Please, please, please do not forget to pray for me as the Spirit of the Lord will lead you. Always pray for me. God bless you as you do so in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, may the Lord bless you. May he keep you. May he cast his face to shine in you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. Oh, Jesus, the shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken in the name of Jesus. I love you so much. I do. I love you. I do. God bless you amazingly and God bless you abundantly. Shalom.